Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. You guys, we're doing all the things. It is the 14 week home organization challenge um, and I'm doing a couple of weeks at a time. So if you haven't, go over to Tony Hammersley's um, website, A Bowl Full of Lemons, and you will be able to see her challenge. So I'm going to be doing the kitchen, the dining room, and the pantry all at the same time because all of those spaces are in this one particular area of my house. And so for me, um, it just makes sense to put them all together. Now, just a few little things about the challenge. Each challenge is seven days long. You take every single thing out of the cabinets all the cabinets you have a donate bin a throwaway bin and a keep bin um, you have what's called a docking station or a place where you put all of the things at one time I don't believe I have a docking station but I did use my kitchen table which is in the dining room portion of my kitchen to house my things all right so what I think I'm gonna do here or what I did was I'm gonna start on my left and work my way around. Yeah, I gotta get a little dance break in. Um, so I'm trying to do multiple things. I had stuff in the dehydrator that I needed to go ahead and try to um, get out of the way so I could get the dehydrator off of the counter. I'm not a big counter things person. I like as much clear space as possible. And so I was just wrapping up that project. Um, I had some, I think it was celery tops in there. And I made some celery salt using that. So I just ground up those tops after I had dehydrated them. And we've been using that and it's been amazing. I just put a little salt in with those dehydrated tops. And then I just made a little bit of a celery powder. And it has been working out very well. Now this is Jackson's cabinet. I really don't even do much in this cabinet at all. Jackson does all of the baking, almost 100% of the baking. He does almost 100% of the cooking as well. I will jump in every now and then. But again, this was his space. And so what I was doing was taking everything out. My job here is to try to condense, combine, um, get rid of things we might not have used in such a very long time. And um, here's me getting up on this cab um, on top of this stool so I can get all the things down. He's got a lot of um, baking implements, uh, cake decorating stuff, his uh, butane torch is up there, his emulsion blender, like a lot of things that Jackson uses um, are up here. Now we're not gonna talk about what happened several days later when I was on that stool and how I had on flip-flops, a moo, moo and the stool, and um, I ended up in the door of the pantry. I spared you guys on that so that you did not have to see anything. But know this, that those plates that I was trying to get out of that cabinet over the refrigerator were saved. Not one plate was lost in Jesus' name. Alrighty then. So uh, here I am just uh, finishing up that those spices. And now because this is a, a cabinet that I don't use a lot, before when I was doing keto, I had a lot of keto treats and keto implements and uh, this for keto and that for keto. I have not done keto 100% in maybe two years. My doctor does not wish, she doesn't wish it. She wants me to eat responsibly and not leave out any um, food groups. And so I was going up emptying out all of those containers that had just had keto items that had been sitting there for two years. I know Shakima was it doing that for two years. It just was there. So I got stuff out. I moved things around. Um, is it a waste of money? I think that my intent at the time was to use everything, but by now it definitely was not usable. And so we just get rid, right? It's no problem that was peanut butter powder I was getting rid of my kids don't love it that was a little bit of um, some type of sugar I don't know what kind it was and some other things that just had been sitting or maybe the seals on those jars were not the best get rid of the jars okay they're not providing anything of benefit just get rid of them 
And so that's what I'm doing in this particular space. I, I made sure to wash out that um, uh, Lazy uh, Susan. And then I just put things on top of that as well. All right, so I think about here, I was trying to find my playlist. Um, this is a daunting, arduous task for some people. Remember, it's just like my do one thing a day series, do what you can do. So if taking your whole kitchen apart is not very helpful, make sure that you put on a good playlist, figure out some good songs or whatever. It just makes it go a little bit quicker and faster. Now the task at hand is to do the cleaning, right? So I have taken everything out, but you do want to take a rag, um, some spray, just some warm soapy water, whatever it is, and make sure that you go ahead and wipe out the entire cabinet. And once we do it the one time, right, then it's, a, it's good for at least the next six months for sure because we're getting all the crumbs and all the things out. And I am extremely short, so I did have to um, climb on top of that counter. I don't think Jackson was there to help me. I think this challenge has to be yours. You got to make it work for you. You have to make it work for um, your personality, your lifestyle. I did have the sugar and the flour in the pantry but that was misplaced. And so again, with cleaning out, you then need to think about placement of your items. What's gonna be good where? Jackson does all of his baking out of this cabinet. He should have all of his baking things in this cabinet. And so I just move stuff over. It's okay to rearrange your space, it's yours. But if you tend to be overwhelmed with things, my suggestion is to declutter downsize get rid of things that don't bring you joy when it's all said and done i can tell you that all will be well we still have plenty of stuff in this house we pl still have plenty of things for jackson to use most of the things that i got rid of are things i'm not using anymore on a keto specific diet but there are the things that we can all use. And so it took me a long time to get this one cabinet together because I was trying to move things, rearrange things, uh, make the flow work for everybody that um, is involved. Now, you're going to see me move to the next day. Uh, this, I believe, was a Sunday. And so I'm still working in that cabinet. I had to wash all of those um bins and things so I can put stuff in them and here's where I was doing the pantry as well so I was moving stuff around I got brown rice and brown sugar and all that stuff that was in the pantry that I had empty bins now and so I just put those bins in there well Shakima that's a baking station it is but I had empty bins and I used them for me this is one of the things that I enjoy quite a lot is going through my space and making sure everything has a place every um you know i know where things are we were i was putting stuff you know in these bins for the kids to use and um, i did put some different uh, names on these bins the kids helped me again no problem know the things that work for you if it doesn't work for you don't do it but for me um clearly these are my moments to, to uh, downtime, to de-stress, to um, what I want to say. I enjoy being in my home. I enjoy making it the way I want it to be and not the way somebody else wants it to be. So for me, this worked out perfectly and I, en I enjoy it. Alrighty, now we're moving into the pantry where I'm trying to make sure that all of the things in here work. That's a bread maker. We actually ended up donating that because Jackson makes his own artisan bread. And then I had um, my food saver I needed to move. I actually have two food savers and I eventually don't want them there. So I end up moving those again with the um, also there's a, I'm in canning season or garden season. And so I wanted to make sure that all of my canning supplies were easily accessible to me. And so I ended up moving several things several different times, just trying to make it work out for me. Um, I went through to throw out food that was old or had expired. 
and I wanted to make sure that I had enough space for all of my new canning items because I've been canning quite a lot of things. And some of these, like all of these were from last year. Nope, these are from this year. And I wanted to just make sure that I could clean uh, anything that might have spill, spilled on the shelf from last year's canning. And so I did that and I'm moving up some of the things from last year so I can use those first, like first in, first out type of thing. And um, I like being able to see the fruits of my labor. I really enjoy gardening and canning. And so I was able to make space because I, you know, got rid of some things. I was able to declutter some areas. I was able to um, just, again, like I said, organize things better so that they fit well, they made sense uh, to me. And because I have a small pantry and a small dining room, I just did all of those things together. So uh, these are some of the things that we can this year. There are a few things from last year. I think that salsa, we did salsa this year. We did those um, pickled um, banana peppers were this year. That's a peach pepper jam. For some reason, this peach pepper jam recipe is not my favorite. I cannot find the very first peach pepper jam recipe I ever made. That was my favorite. Now, um, here's this space that's underneath my island that little it used to be a microwave cart but it's a little mini island and i don't know why my children are not mindful that those are breadcrumbs that they see from the toaster oven that they probably should clean out but no 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 nobody sees that only mom and so i am going to take a few moments and clean that out not sure how they missed it but listen i'm not trying to be in anybody's business guess what they did they missed it I did not. And so what I'm going to do is just clean it up. It's perfectly fine. No worries. Just really, y'all. And then I'm going to start moving out some of those things that are underneath that um, at the bottom because I want to put my air fryer in here. Now, there's no way to air fry in here, but I don't want to see my things. So I'm going to adjust the height of this so that I can... Um, put the air fryer in there when I'm not using it. That was the point of what I was doing at that moment was moving that shelf down one. And I'm gonna clean out all those bottom things as well. See that little white thing right there? It's an over the sink vegetable um, washer. That is what I slipped on the other day. And my flip flops and my moo coming off of the step stool and what had me flying into the pantry door yes i did yes and amen and all of the things so here i am again just readjusting this shelf because i want to be able to put the air fryer on it um so that it is not visible in my kitchen i just don't like looking at certain things i like to close the door and let it be what it is going back to clean and style i am a cricket and i don't need to see all of my stuff i'm perfectly fine not seeing it so there that is, I was able to adjust that shelf enough and now I can put the air fryer on with no problem and move out the things that um, are no longer helpful or useful in this space. So that's what I'm doing now. Not real sure how my kids again miss this entirely broken a platter, but they miss the breadcrumbs too. So I'm just going to assume that I need to get them an eye exam. And uh, it's July, so they should be getting one post haste, no problem. So I am going to toss that out. And um, here is what all of the things look like. I went through all of my cabinetry. I love all of my china, so I didn't get rid of much there. We did downsize. Um, we did consolidate some of the spices and different things, as well as go through um, at the top where we have our pastas. This is like an overflow pantry of the pantry. And so we got rid of some things. These are things we need to be using. Ton of pots and pans and different things down here were shifted around. And so this is where I put my lids under the baking station. And then um, this is where the air fryer is now, my extra burner, all of my canning things. And then here's where I move the toaster and all of the crock pots. 
If I had a different space, I would put the crock pots there, but I do not. And then here's the pantry with all of the things we have canned thus far. And we're gonna pan over a little bit to the dining room. We do wanna thank you so much for stopping by. Like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.